Hi guys, it's Tuesday the 20th of September and it's uh, 12.40 in the morning. Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at computers again. I know my computer videos are like buses, you don't see any for a long time and then they all come along at once. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I acquired some computer bits and bobs today, just a few spares and some peripherals and things, so we'll have a look at those first. Um, I've also got a slight update on the i7 build, but we'll be performing an upgrade on this, which will be the update, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I want to talk about the um, build, the smaller build I did, the one in the uh, case I bought for £2 at the yard sale. Um, and then I've got another gaming rig that I also acquired today on the floor. Um, so yeah, we'll start with all the knickknacks and stuff, we'll go to the i7, we'll go to the other one, and then we'll go to the uh, new one that I um, acquired today and I'll explain how I got it and what I traded for it and what not when we get to that one. So, let's start with what's on the worktop. There's um, quite a lot to get through. There we go. So yeah, a friend of mine contacted me on Facebook um, this af well, yesterday afternoon, I should say, because we're now on Tuesday, not Monday. Um, and he, I didn't even know what he wanted. He just asked if I was in, and if he could pop up, and I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I'm not doing anything today. So um, yeah, he did, and he bought a box of um, computer bits and pieces. Um, there's a lot of cables, so I've got more um, power cables for computers, which I was actually short on. And there's some HDMI cables in there, and various USB charging cables and whatnot. So that's not a bad thing, because I was actually getting low on those. I keep giving my cables away. And then when I want a cable, I haven't bloody got one. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, what have we got on the worktop then? We have... We'll start with the microphone. He says it's quite a good one. Um, but my thinking with this is... I've got another friend that does streaming and he's currently relying on a... Um, web camera mic because he hasn't got anything like this and I'm thinking this might actually be better than that because it could be placed closer to him there's only one way to find out I can give it to him and let him use it and we'll see on a stream uh, but I haven't got a mic like mine that I can give him unfortunately actually I have but I haven't got a um, mic stand or anything like that I've only got the mic <laughs> If I can find the mic stand, an XLR, actually I've got an XLR cable. So I've got two parts of the puzzle. I just need the mic stand and the little um, amplifier thing like I've got. I can't remember what they call it now. Look at my camp. Um, yeah, if I can find those two things, then you can have a mic set up like mine and have better audio. Anyway, item number two, only because I had it in my hand. Apparently this is a PlayStation microphone, and I presume that ended up plugging at the PlayStation controller. You know, otherwise the cable's not going to be long enough, and you're not likely to sit on top of your PS4 or PS5 or whatever this goes to <laughs> when you're gaming, are you? So, I mean, with a cable that short, you'd actually have to literally be sitting on top of your TV. So yeah, I got that. I'm not sure whether if I'd use that or not because I don't have a PS4 or anything. I don't know anyone with it. Um, this is another interesting little device that I've got to get a USB cable for. But it's like a USB hub. Um, and he told me the red ones are fast charge. Or super fast charge, something like that. And the blue ones, they also charge, but they charge at the normal way. And these are your USB 3s. And these four will actually connect through to the computer if you connect this to the computer with a USB cable. He couldn't find that. Um, so I'm going to have to find that myself. 
I'm sure I could find a USB cable like that. So I've got that as well. I actually quite like that. Person. Um, what else have we got? Two PC mice. We've got this Corsair one. Which I'm just going to keep as a spare. Considering Smudge keeps chipping the cable on my current one. And we've got this one. Which actually goes with a keyboard um, that I've got. It's a silver crest. I'm trying to think of the name. It looks like he bought the same starter gaming kit as I did from Lidl's. Because <laughs> I've now got two of those keyboards. Because I've got a spare one here. Um, which means I can actually give one of my keyboards, because I've actually got a better one now, spare, to um, another friend of mine who does streaming and whatnot, gaming, so, cause I, at the time, I didn't have any decent keyboards, so I just bought him one for it from Argos, only a cheapie, unfortunately, it was all I could bloody afford at the time, but yeah, now I've got, um, I've actually got a spare one in the lounge you can have with RGB lighting, um, so yeah, I'm going to keep these, because I had no problems with this, and I can't remember what broke on it now. Something failed on it. Oh, I think it was the scroll wheel that wore out. It just stopped scrolling for some reason. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was a great mouse. It was only a 30 quid set, you got the mouse, the keyboard, the mouse mat, and a headset. Why is that light flickering? <laughs> it should not be flickering, so... It's nice to actually have some decent spare mice, because all I've got is bog standard ones like this, you know, just standard USB things. That like we'd use in an office or something. Um, but this Corsair mouse will actually go with the keyboard I've got. I'm actually surprised my brother didn't take it back to Ireland with him. I'll just quickly show you that. Um, because it's one of these expensive, it's Corsair keyboard, so I've got a mouse and keyboard now. You know, it's got the two USB plugs there. But it's one of these expensive ones where you can change the keycaps and you can change the switches. Because this has got quite a um, old-fashioned mechanical feel, which apparently is what a lot of people like. I quite like that feel as well. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of keys. That one's fallen off again. Where did that fall off and fly to? It was on there, but that one keep falling off for some reason. Yeah, I'm planning to get some new caps for that. Because I believe you can actually buy the key caps separately. Um, give that a good clean down. And maybe use that one. I haven't decided yet. I've got like several I can use. Um, as in, yeah, there's the keyboard, the silver crest keyboard, which I actually quite like the style of that. I like the blue keys. Um, I'm currently not using mine, I'm using another one, which I actually got off the same friend a while back. <laughs> because somehow Smudge walked across the keyboard and managed to swap these four keys with these four keys. And I'm trying to type, and I couldn't figure out what was going on for a while. <laughs> and I can't figure out how to get it back. I don't know how she did it. Uh, so, it's currently on the... Oh, I stood on smudge, I stood on the metal tin lid. Um, yeah, I still haven't figured out how to um, get it back. I've also got this little keyboard today. It's another one of those, you know... Mechanically feeling ones with the, uh, I'll just pull a key off, changeable keys, keycaps and switches and whatnot. Took it off and then I couldn't remember what way up it went. Yeah, and it's got RGB, I'm going to plug this in and show you it in a minute, but it's got great RGB on this one. I expect the Corsair one has as well. So yeah, I've got some fairly decent spare keyboards now. Right. More thermal paste. There's not a lot in this one, but still plenty to use. 
Another one of these which you get with um, when you buy a CPU cooler. I've got one of these because oddly enough my friend bought the same cooler as what I put in this one. <laughs> we didn't speak to each other until today, go figure. And off Amazon, exact same Cooler Master cooler. <laughs> so I've now got a good stock of thermal paste in here. Because I've got two new tubes that I bought. And I've got about three of these dinky little ones as well, which has got to all have a little bit in. Yeah, I've got another one up the back there that again I got from my little brother when he was clearing out his computers. So I'm good for thermal paste for quite some time. <laughs> Um, some homemade LED lights here, plug in your USB. I'm actually going to put these in my Ryzen case. That's my plan with those ones. And we've got a few, uh, we've got a couple of fan adapters there. No Merlex to your fan plug. Three pin fan plug, although it's only got two pins active because it's only got two wires. Which is actually good because I'm low on those as well. Um, then we've got some other adapters here. Well, that's just a little USB extension, there's nothing special. But we've got here, we've got HDMI to DVI adapter, and then one of these which does exactly the same. And then we've got display port to DVI, which is actually good because I've got GPUs with display port, but I've never had a monitor with a display port socket on it. So I've never used it. That's what we've got for adapters. Um, we've also got Sony soundbar, which is actually meant for a TV. Not, a, I don't know if a computer. Actually, I can use this on a computer because it's got the Bluetooth dongle. And I want to give one of these to. Um, my friend who does the streaming and whatnot and the gaming. Because I've got three soundbars now. One of them apparently doesn't work. I know the one I've got in the bedroom does work. Actually, I think that one might be better for his setup, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll decide that in a few days. He should be coming over uh, Thursday, hopefully, if I don't get called over to mum's or whatever. But yeah, these were on the gaming machine that I picked up today. That's a Wi-Fi dongle and that's the Bluetooth dongle. Which I assume is what he used um, this Sony soundbar with. Right, that's those various clips and things for fans. To put them on um, coolers. I've also got this. You're not going to believe what I traded for with this. Well, to be honest, I think a lot of this knick-knack stuff was pretty much free. He doesn't want rid of it. Yeah, I've got a proper um, Razer gaming controller. So I've only got the PlayStation on that, so I assume it can be used for PlayStation as well. Three meter USB cable there to charge it. Spare thumb caps for the sticks and spare D-pad. Apparently these are not cheap, but I don't know much about them. Actually, that would go with my current PC mouse, because that's a Razer mouse. Um, uh, yeah, I know Razer mice and whatnot aren't exactly the cheapest of mice you can get. Right. Next on the list. We're wheeling down everything on here, aren't we? What he called a mishmash of RAM, which he used in his gaming rig before he got the um, Vengeance RAM off of me. And he said it was driving, driving him nuts because it was all odd RAM. He didn't like that. I don't like that, to be honest. Drives me nuts as well. I prefer um, matching sticks if I can. Uh, then he gave me an old Wi-Fi dongle. It's actually that old. It actually says now. Now also works with um, Windows Vista. Which shows the age of that. And again... I yeah, it has been open, but we've got this um, mobile dongle. I actually used to use one of these, I think it was with Orange back then, um, when I was in the homeless hostel 14 years ago. 
was that was the easiest way to get internet to my desktop. Because obviously you're, you're just renting a room, so there is no phone or anything in the room. And at the time, you know, there wasn't like no Wi-Fi password or anything like that. So... So much is hissing at me. She's found something to nibble on, but she's hissing at me. And we'll start a lot of that go. Right. Um, you know, I've got some spare fans up here as well. Again, nothing that interesting. If I can, I might actually try and take that from her. Nope, she's ran off with it again. I don't think she's trying to eat it, I think she's actually just playing with it from the looks of it. Right, next, a um, couple of random discs I've got as well, again, nothing that interesting. He thinks Linux is on this one. And this one is just a driver package disc. It's not even a legal or genuine copy. You can tell that is not a genuine copy. Um, was it drivers for all, all devices on Windows XP, Vista 7 and 8? Um, I don't know, it might be useful for something, although I've never needed anything like this personally. So, yeah, I might chuck it in the bin, don't know yet. Right, we're getting there. Um, also got monitor. I've actually got two of these now, I think. We've got this one, another BenQ again. No stand on the back, but it has got a bracket Ugh. for this. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on my desk during the week as well. I think there might just be enough space between the desk and the wall to get that down the back. So. If there isn't, I'm going to make enough space. If I have to make a hole, I'll make a hole. So we've got that and that. But, um... I think it was about a month or so ago. And I saw my friend and I got... This one from him. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks dead. No, I don't know what it is. It's in fluff or something. Another BenQ monitor, so I've only got two of these, so I've got a spare one. I have actually got another monitor down here off camera that I've had for ages. I've got it off my youngest brother, actually. Um, the problem is with that one, yes, it does turn on, yes, it technically works, but it's got a line going right down the screen. I don't think it can be fixed. I think that's a dead pixel in the panel. It'll do as like an emergency spare. I was actually thinking, as I don't really need it, I could put that on Marketplace or something free. And someone would do what I like with it. Um, last item, I believe, is this big old mouse mat. Look at this. I do want to use this, but with Smudge at the minute, I don't think that's a good idea. Because she's, um, she likes to play around and nibble on the current mouse mat. And this one, as you can probably tell, as it's got a USB cable connected to it, it's um, an RGB mat. And I've actually put it upside down. <laughs> um, yes, we have a nice colourful RGB mat, which is big enough for your keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I will. I want to power this up in a minute, so these RGB items I will uh, plug in and show you. So, I quite like that. nibbling on something this cat is and I have no idea what. She keeps finding something somewhere. I don't know how because before I picked it up I went around everywhere. I vacuumed everywhere. I um, swept up. I'm going to make herself bloody sick if she keeps eating crap like that. Get out from behind the monitor. Get out from behind the monitor. Move. Ouch. My car 
because oh, I've just found a few bits. I don't think it's going to hurt, but still. Maybe some old batter from some fish and chips I had. There we go. Right. So, my plan is, as I wanted more ram in this one, I'm going to put that ram I got yesterday in here. Um, I, I have got two similar sticks to this. It's actually the same. It is Corsair XMS3. The difference being, this is 10666 megahertz, and the other one is actually um, 1333. So, yeah, these are actually faster. So, I've got to remember the order because I've already tried them in this, so I know it works. Nice gold one. I had a set of gold ram sticks like this a while ago. I don't know. It's this right one that's playing up. be the uh, LED bulb. I don't use these epoxy lights that often. And when I do, they're never on for that long. All right. There we go. RAM is installed. Oh, this one, by the way, is an 8 gigabyte stick. But I don't think I can use this in here and get 16 gigs, because there's only 6 dim slots. Um, but I don't know what the maximum RAM is per channel because it's dual channel. So I do actually need to Google this motherboard at some point and find that out. Oh, I've got something else up here as well to show you, but it's not actually um, related to what I've got from a friend of mine. So turn it on. I always likes to do this. So it's now currently got 12 gigs of RAM fitted because I did have a matching 2 gig in my stash up in the cupboard, so I've put that in with it. But to be honest, it doesn't look too bad, even though there's technically three different brands of RAM in there. <laughs> um, I could have done with another one of those Corsair XMS3, really. I want to see if I can find one on eBay or a pair or something. They're all 2 gig sticks, which I think is obvious. I said that. <laughs> 12 gigs of RAM, 6 sticks, you know, do the maths. <laughs> Never mind. It's, it's um, the early hours of the morning. My brain's not functioning very well. That's about normal for my brain. <laughs> there we go. It is all over. I will, however, I'm just, I didn't do this earlier. I didn't think of it, but I am just going to go into um, system and just check that all 12 is being uh, recognised. Yep, exactly 12 gigs. Great if this motherboard could take like 32 gigs and it would just need a much better GPU fitted than that thing. Uh, power. What did I shut that down? Tit. What the plug me do does it? Through all the colours. Axle. I will. Can't turn my socket off, can I? Just going to dim the lights a little bit so you can see it. There we go. There is a little button on the end here as well, so I can change different things. I can just have it, you know, on one colour. There's a selection of them. 
we can just have it sort of fade through the colours. It's quite nice, I like that. Um, okay, so can I actually plug the keyboard in and will that work? It seems to be a common thing these days, you know, that um, USB ports on computers just seem to have this permanent power to them. I, mean, I can't see, plug it in. Let there be light. Right. Weirdly, I've also got this plugged in a USB port that my friend said didn't work on this motherboard. Um, No, nope, I might actually have to turn it on for that. Right. I'll tell you what we could do. Let's unplug those. And just because we'll plug in the Corsair one as well. A little RGB setup, shall we? Actually, I've just realised my mat's gone on. It's all gone off actually. Did I pull out the wrong USB? I did pull out the wrong USB cable. Oh, dipstick. Pulled out the wrong two. That's why it's not working. And so that's on, that's on. I'll dim the lights again. Here we go. We have a nice disco. should be buttons on this one to change all the light patterns. Unfortunately, can't seem to find them. On this one, I think it's that. That's this one. F9, function in F9. So you can do all sorts. Uh, almost like a rainbow, it's got a different colour on each line. And pretty. There's all sorts on this. Colours fading in and out. That's a funky one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Functioning. I actually missed one. There is one where you can actually illuminate just individual keys, the key you press. A wave, raining. Go through it again so you might find that one. That's the one you see it only illuminates the key that you press. Sweet! I was, haven't figured out what buttons do what on the mouse. Right, let's get the light back on. Okay, and this button seems to change the colour of this little light on the side there, but that's about it.
you know, that actually does seem to be the only light that we can change. There's only a few colours. Not unless I'm missing something. Right, so I can get the side panel back on this now and get that out of the way. Because there's not really much else to do with this one. It's working. I've actually got an RGB 600 watt power supply in this as well. Right, and shut down. Shut down, get the side panel on it, get it put on the floor out of the bloody way, just make sure smudge isn't going to get in the way. Right. Can I plug everything now? Like so. Get everything rolled up again. If I don't do it now, I'll forget and then just get ticked off because all the cables have gotten in a tangle. Alright, so let me go over here. Keyboard can do the same thing. I quite like this keyboard so I might end up using it. But I haven't seen what my um, brother's old one is like yet. So I'm going to put that in as well. I might do that in a minute actually. Alright. Roll this up a bit neatly. Chuck them out bits everywhere. And, uh, sorry, smash. Oh. Hey, oh. I know you want to play, and Daddy is making YouTube videos. side cover I think it's that Molex I was using yep well, it must have been that one because there isn't no more in here right, let me get that back on there perfect put the thumb screws in And this case is bloody heavy. Didn't used to be that heavy. Until, you know, I, I put stuff in it. <laughs> Built a PC with it. Right, just before I put this down on the floor, um, I think it was Friday, I got my SSDs in the mail. So I've now had four of these from the same eBay seller. So, pretty pleased with that. Right, I forgot the power plug. Where did that metal spring go? Or metal clip. Oh, no, that could be a ghost flicker in that light. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> nah, it's just a dodgy bubble, probably. Wouldn't be surprised if it's worked loose. No, it's still nice and tight, so no idea what's going on with that. Right, this one. I was having a bit of a tinker around with this. In fact, I've got a bit for this. Let's go back on. This one will probably end up um, going up for sale. Right. So, I need a light. This is all I've got for a light, so I don't have to do. So, right up the front here, I've actually installed the 64 gigabyte Crucial SSD. It's already had Windows 10 on it. It's an SSD I've got from my younger brother when he was clearing out his bits. 
from Bob's and uh, all he used it for was to test motherboards when he bought them. And I thought I don't really need anything to do that with, I might as well chuck it in here, so that's what I did. So we've got that, we've got a 500 gig hard drive, got a diddy little GPU in here, which I'll probably take out and keep if I do sell it because it's not worth selling it with that in there. And a little um, gigabit Ethernet adapter in there because for some reason, I have no idea why, the onboard Ethernet does not work. Uh, in fact, it's not even showing up on the uh, in the device manager list. In fact, there's not any network controller showing up in that list. So that's why that's in there. Right, I'm going to get this. It's going to go on there. I need to find another one of these. holes right next to each other. Yeah, this one I will most definitely put up for sale at some point. It's pretty much why I bought the, um, the case in the first place, so I have another thumb screw, a box of screws here. Should, oh, I was going to say, I should have another matching one for this case to match that, so I've just found it. <laughs> okay, that's being a bit tight to go in there. Where's my screwdriver? I just found a carrier bag attack. There we go. If I take the GPU out, I've got to take that off again, but never mind. Only take two seconds. So yeah, that's just a quick update on that one. That is uh, good to go if I decide to sell it. Well, like I said, I do want to sell it, but I don't know when. <laughs> Whenever I can be bothered to put it up, and I'll find a keyboard to put with it as well, and a mouse, I've got plenty of those. Right, stuck this one out of the way, so we can bring up the final piece. I'll let you into a secret, this case was mine originally, and I swapped it for the Corsair, not the Corsair, the Cooler Master case I built the i7 in. wonder why, sometimes I ask myself why, but uh, yeah, that's what I decided to do at the time. Right, here we go, Ugh. a little bit of weight in this one. Yeah, this is my friend's old gaming rig. Oh, sorry smudge. So I'm going to boot this up, so I'm going to plug all the bars and stuff in. I'm going to need electricery. We're going to need a mouse key. We're going to need a keyboard ski. Like so. And video ski. first time. Right. Okay, this has got two different DVI sockets on. Alright, so we're good to go there. Power it on. Yeah, this has got um, funky LED lights in it. Hang on a minute. I'm going to turn those off. 
Yeah, he put those in, they're custom. Um, I need to re-stick them down this side though, because I actually quite like them. My old vengeance ram in there, so I've got that back. You look, see, exactly the same cooler, master cooler. <clears throat> um, an MSI GPU in there, and the processor is an AMD. I'll get you the info up. I know it's a quad core because I've already googled it. Um, so we'll look at the processor first. So if any of you at home wish to Google it, you can. So the processor is an AMD A10-5800K APU with Radeon HD graphics at 3.8 gigahertz. And apparently they did a 4 point something gigahertz as well when I Googled it. But yeah, it's a 4 core processor with four threads so it's not a hyper threaded one either unfortunately right I can get you the GPU and details as well when I look in the right place I need to go to that's volume E there's a program he's got on here. It's mostly just games on here. So, oh, sorry, Smudgy. The GPU is it's an MSI. He's got it written on there, but it's powered by NVIDIA. So it's an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760. Um, two gigabytes of um, RAM on it. Does it actually say if it's DDR3 or what it is? I'm assuming DDR3. Um, storage. Boot drive is 120 gig SSD. And then he's put a one terabyte um, laptop hard drive in there, which actually came out of his PS4, but it's exactly the same thing. <laughs> um, and a 500 gig desktop drive. And that is it for storage. I will be changing that storage at some point. Uh, I'm just wondering if I can put another desktop drive in there. Because I have got spare... Um, Plenty of spare desktop drives. Are you attacking the back of my jeans? Oh no, you're attacking the bag. So, yeah. Um, so you've got working front USB 3s because the motherboard has got um, that socket. And if you want to know what the motherboard is, it's an Asus A88XM dash plus. <clears throat> and that cooler only just works on there because it's awfully close to those um, RAM modules. So got it up there. D Digi VRM. Turbo V, HDMI in, I can't read it, it's too dark, <clears throat> actually looks a nice little motherboard to be honest, and quite a few um, SAT connectors in there, can't see how many exactly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
obviously got fan wires. The two Noctua fans that I left in the case when I swapped it with them the first time, when I swapped it for the um, uh, the Cooler Master case on the floor. He's got a fan up there, I don't know what the brand of that one is, and he's got, well I actually put this one in, because he had, he had this one in off of my old heat sink. But I've actually put a Cooler Master in there and that's quite slow, so I may end up changing that one again. I don't know why. Cooler Master case fans just seem to run slow to me, or at least all the ones I've got do. I mean, there's really not a lot of air coming out of there. There's more air being pushed out of that one. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to change that one again. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this video is taking me about an hour. Not quite. Not quite. It's another NZXT case. If I still had my old white case, <clears throat> I gave to um, a friend of mine that streams and games, I wonder I actually had three, because the, uh, my Ryzen build is in an NZXT case. I actually quite like their cases, they make some nice cases. You don't like that bag, do you? I think she's just creating noise because she's um, wanting Daddy's attention. Right, and shut down there. There we go. So I've got plenty of uh, things to keep me busy this week, haven't I? I can change that fan on here. This one I want to keep for now. I don't want to get rid of that one. Um, Holy moly, excuse me. Yes, I've got at least one I need to get um, sorted and on the market. Let's try and step over smudge without standing on it, because sometimes she likes to suddenly move. I've got these to stick into my um, case in the lounge, so that's another job. I've got a monitor to install. Another job. Uh, I did decide. Oh, I didn't plug that keyboard in, did I? Should we do that now? Alright. Can't believe this thing needs two USB um, connectors. That is proper glass, by the way. It's proper tempered glass. Yeah, and I know the camera's not. Uh, not straight. I will solve that in a minute. Actually, just leave that. Mm. When my brain decides to work, put those two in there, put that one in there, turn that on, and we are lit up white at the minute. So there's the function button, so what do I press with that? Did I do that or did that do that on its own? Well, I've figured out. Um, the buttons on this keyboard, I will uh, dim the lights down so you can see it better. But I don't know what the buttons do. <laughs> um, oh! A button with a lock on it there. It's this one. I 
Oh, is that all it does? It just lights up. It's not as fancy as the RGB one. I'll just turn these lights off again. A little button up in this corner, see, it's all fuzz. It's got different light level settings. Which I actually quite like. Simply because I wouldn't have to have the light on above the desk to see the keys. Which in theory would mean less electricery. <laughs> so. This one might actually be the one that I use and I'll keep the other one as a funky spare one. Know what this button does. That hurts so much. Just climbed up the back of my leg and then jumped off. Alright, alright, I'll get my bum to bed, Char. That's what she wants. She knows it's gone past our bedtime. Right, let's get this shut down again. It's actually a pity my mum and stepdad didn't use a desktop because I'd have something half decent to give them. In fact, I'll have several more than capable machines for them. They don't really need the gaming stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it needs a clean. Sort of stored in a damp shed so it's gone sort of funny around there. I can do that and I can get the keys for it, the key caps. Right then, smudgy deer, that's my foot. I'm going to go and finish this before I go to bed, I'm not wasting it. Right, thanks a lot for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I'll leave a link to the Discord server in the description below. Comments, questions, etc. in the comments below. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!